a very good morning and assalamu alaikum to all my dear little kids how are you everyone i'm fine by the grace of almighty allah today i'm here for taking your bangladesh and global studies class yes i'm your maliha salsabin mates from master preparatory kg school sector 14 branch so dear students today we will be learning something very interesting. Before that, as like all other classes, today at first I will be taking your review of previous lesson. Okay, are you ready for that? Thank you so much. Yes. So the first question goes for you. Yes, stand up and tell me name two facilities in rural areas can you name excellent very good two facilities in rural areas are arsenic uh, free tube for safe water and yes exactly roads bridges bamboo pathways culverts yes very good so uh, another question is now you will tell two facilities in urban areas can you tell? Excellent answer. Two facilities in urban areas are electricity supply and gas supply. Excellent. Okay, another question. How uh, is it possible to repair gas and water lines? Yes, very good. Electricity and gas supply are very important among the facilities in the urban areas, isn't it? Yes, and people of urban areas may face problems if electricity and gas supply is hampered. At that time, what to do? Yes, in such condition, they might require repairing. Usually, it is the responsibility of the government to repair gas and water lines. Okay, okay, hmm. should I ask you some more questions? Ah, uh, very good. Okay, then you answer me. How can roads and bridges be repaired? Very good. Roads and bridges uh, may be damaged for some reasons, right? For this reason, repairing all of these things are required. So, government can repair these roads and bridges if necessary. Then everyone in the locality can participate in trying to repair these roads and bridges. My dear students, your performance during the review session was excellent. I'm so happy and proud of you all. That means you are doing your regular studies properly at home, right? Okay, Baba. Now I'm going to start your today's lesson. Do you know which chapter we are going to start today? Yes? Very good. Your guessing power is excellent. We will be learning chapter 10. That is Geography of Asia. Dear learners, today we are going to learn about the largest continent of the world. You know which is this one? Yes. According to the geographical location and area, Asia is the largest continent of the world. So today, we are going to know about the world's largest continent. It covers almost a third of the Earth's surface. And it is also largest in size of population. About 60% of the world's population lives where? Guess what? Obviously, it will be in the largest continent. Yes, that is 60% of the world's population is living in Asia. And Asia lies in the Northern Hemisphere. So, there are how many countries in Asia? Very good. There are 48 countries in Asia. And some are named on the map. The longest river in Asia is Yangtze, which lies in China. The climate varies across Asia. Because of its vast size, the hottest part is the desert in the center of Asia. 
The coldest part is Siberia, where it rains heavily in winter. The driest part have rain in winter, but none in summer. Like in uh, Iran or Iraq, Jordan, Israel, these are the desert parts. The wettest part have, you know, high rainfall and high temperature all the year round. Yes, uh, these countries are actually Indonesia and Malaysia. So this is what actually written in your book page number 48. Now Baba, open your book page number 49. After doing the reading practice of this lesson, now it's time to do the book work from page number 49, okay? So see what is given in ASP. It is written with the whole class list the main countries of Asia from the map. And what do you know about any of these countries, okay? So I have uh, 10 names in my head. I will tell those 10 names. You can write some other names also, okay? So I will write, if I am the student, I will be writing the answer like this way. Main countries in Asia from the map are China, then Japan, then Russia, then India, then Iran, then Korea, Saudi Arabia, Malaysia, then Bangladesh, Pakistan, okay? And I have some knowledge about all these countries, okay? So what I know, you know, Russia is the largest country of Asia. China is the second largest country of the, uh, uh, of the continent. And Japan is known as the country of sunrising. India is situated in the south part of Asia. And it has border with Bangladesh. Russia is the northeast country of Asia. So these are some information which I know about some countries of Asia. So what is there in B? Yes, in B there is a box, right? Eat, pair, make notes about the climate of Asia, okay? So, mm, hottest, where? Yes, very good. In the center of Asia, it is hottest. And where it is coldest? Very good. Excellent, Siberia. And where it is driest? Remember? Very good. It is in Iran, Iraq, Jordan and is right and it is oh my god all of you know the answer it is indonesia and malaysia bravo my dear kids well done okay now we will go for c what is c it is extinct and here the question is as a class display a map of asia for your classroom why color it and label the countries seas and the oceans okay as you know that in your school campus teachers are doing decoration for what for you whenever school will reopen you will enjoy this um, scenarios in your classroom so what you can do if you get any laser time you can draw a nice map and you can color it and you can label the important countries seas and ocean submit it to your class teacher okay that would be great fun okay then in d what is given hmm? it is what matching yes we have to match the words on the right with them on the left are you ready for the matching i know my students enjoy doing matching right yes so with a to the north of asia which one is matching over here very good it will be arctic question then in B, to the south of Asia, what is there? Can you tell? Excellent, it will be Indian Ocean. And to the east of Asia, what is there? Very good, well done. It will be Pacific Oceans. My dear students are very clever. As they know, only one is left. So, which one will go to the west of Asia? Exactly, that will be Europe. Baba. So, you have enjoyed doing the book work, right? Okay. Now, let's do the reading practice of next page also. Okay. Move to page number 50. Topic? Yes. It is about the resources of Asia. 
so students what you can see in the picture mm -hmm. yes it is grain crops so by seeing the pictures uh, i think you have understood that now we will learn about crops and what you can see here yes it is cash crops so students what is grain crops the crops which are generally uh, grain producing plants that is uh, which crops are coming from grain producing plants so if definition comes then how you will write yes very good the crops that are used as food is known as grain crops and what is the examples yes very good rice wheat corns coconut etc then students what is cash crops yes cash crops are generally produced for its commercial value rather than for use by the grower or producer so if definition comes of cash crop then what you will write yes the crops which are grown to earn profit is known as cash crops and for example yes very good jute cotton rubber tea etc are cash crops now we will learn about the minerals of asia so students what is minerals okay before that see some pictures of minerals gold bronze this is mica this is silver okay so minerals are actually the solid substance that are present in nature but if definition comes then how you will write any guess yes very good the resources which are found in earth as well as in deep underground is known as minerals for example as we have seen in the picture gold bronze mica silver etc then as you have learned about some minerals i think you are eager to learn that where this mineral are used okay now i will tell you some usefulness of these minerals so as you can see this is the picture of coal coal is the cheapest and most essential source of energy in the steel industry coal is used indirectly to make steel coal is used as fuel for cooking and a source of heat what is fuel students any guess yes fuels are substance that is used uh, to provide heat or power that can be made to react with other substances also okay then you can see in the picture this mineral oil mineral oil will also help prevent cutting boards from getting cut marks in them okay okay also as you know oh, we use cutting board in our houses yes uh, for what for cutting and chopping things like vegetables okay and you know oh, like fish meat etc and after using the cutting board for some days we can see some cut marks in the chopping boards so if we just rub the chop uh, cutting board with mineral oil before cutting something in the cutting board then it will helps to prevent uh, cut marks in the cutting board so i hope that you will give this information to your mom okay okay the mineral oil will help preserve and protect wooden furniture as like cutting boards also if we just rub the wooden furnitures with mineral oil it will protect the wooden furnitures also and mixing mineral oil with other essential oils can keep your house smelling light and fresh as sometimes you know we use uh, some essential oils in our house for good odor or good smell so with that essential oils if we mix mineral oils that would give a much better fresh and light smell okay then 
The next one as we can see is natural gas. Natural gas is used as both a raw material and as a source of heat. So what is raw material students? Yes, it is the basic material from which a product is made. Many natural gas is burned as a fuel. As I have told you earlier what is fuel? Substance that is used to provide heat. Okay. It is also used in stove. In stoves, whenever we are cooking, we need gas. In ovens also, in clothes tires, in lighting fixtures and other appliances also, we use natural gas. Then, we will know more usefulness of minerals. That is about bronze. As you can see in the picture, this is the picture of bronze. Bronze is suitable for use in boat and ship fittings. Why? You know, bronze is having the combination of toughness and resistance to get damaged uh, from salt water. That is, you know, ships and boats are generally they move in uh, sea water. And in sea, there is salty water. So, bronze get less damage in salt water. That is why bronze is suitable for use in the fittings of boat and ship. Bronze were used for coins over a longer period. Bronze is also used for making mirrors. Okay? Okay. Then the next one as we can see in the picture is gold. I think your moms like gold jewelry. Yes. I also like gold jewelry. So, we can understand that gold is used to make jewelry. Okay. It is used in the making of winning medals for popular world games, championships and awards. As you know, gold is very precious and costly. So, uh, to show respect to the uh, winners of popular world games, then champions uh, who are earning, uh, who are getting awards, okay. So, uh, to them, gold matters, uh, medals are given, okay, uh, as presentation. Gold is of the top metals when it comes to bring good conductor of electricity. As we know, gold is a metal. And you have learned in your science book that metals are good conductor of electricity, Yes, so we can say that gold is a good conductor of electricity. Then, as we can see in the picture, it is picture of silver. Okay, silver is used for making jewelry. Uh, as gold is more uh, costly than silver, so all people cannot afford buying gold. So nowadays, what people do is they buy silver jewelries. And sometimes they do gold color in silver jewelries. Okay. Silver is used to make mirrors also. As you know, silver is very shiny. Yes. And it is very good reflector. So, if coating of silver is given in mirrors, then the mirrors will be more shiny. So, to make shiny mirrors, silver is used. Then, we will learn more about mica and manganese so as you can see in the picture yes it is glossy hmm it is mica mica is non-toxic minerals okay what is meaning of non-toxic yes it is not harmful it is one of the important ingredient in makeup and various cosmetics okay uh, you know, in makeup and various cosmetics, a shy, whenever we use makeup or various cosmetics, a shiny look uh, is coming. For that shiny appearance, Mika is used with that cosmetics. And it gives a shimmery effect and adds sparkle. In makeup, a highlighter, we use highlighter to give a, a shiny look. Yes, in highlighter, uh, mostly Mika is used. And in other you know, uh, loose powders also mica is used to give a glossy and shiny look. Then we have learned about manganese. As you can see in the picture, these are manganese. Manganese is used in dry cell battery. 
what is tri cell battery yes the batteries which are used in electric uh, devices okay it is also used as black brown color in paint okay now we have learned about minerals and now we will know about the industry of asia you know asia is rich in industry what is industry yes economic activity concerned with the processing of raw materials and manufacture of goods in factories let's elaborate this what is economic activity yes any activities involving money or the exchange of products or services are economic activities and what is processing of raw materials yes processing means making a basic materials by which a product is made that is processing of raw materials and what is manufacture of goods manufacture means uh making something on large scale using machinery that is uh, whenever we are manufacturing goods that is we will make goods on large scale using machinery i think you are clear about what is industry isn't it very good now we will learn about some examples of industries of asia as you can see in the picture this is paper industry then it is iron industry then it is cotton industry so when we will learn about some major industries of asia and their usefulness as you can see in the picture it is iron and steel industry you know steel is used in every aspects of our life in cars and construction of products refrigerators and washing machines and cargo ships and many more other things and uh, you know a rapid economic growth in china has been accomplished by an expansion in the iron and steel industries almost 50% of all the iron produced in the world is made in china so as china is also what they are doing exporting this uh, iron and steel to other continents and we are earning foreign currencies from those continents then as you can see we can see cotton industry so you know cotton clothes provide comfort and it is also hypoallergenic as you know in summer time which type of clothes do we prefer yes we prefer using cotton clothes and it is hypoallergenic that is it is free from allergy cotton uh, seed oil is cholesterol free you know cholesterol is very harmful for our health yes so uh, in soybean oil there is mostly cholesterol present so if we use cotton seed oil then uh, we will get rid of cholesterol also okay then cotton seed oil is used for cooking and in products like cosmetics pharmaceuticals rubber and plastics then we can see yes it is jute so we will learn about paper and jute industry you know by exporting jute huge foreign currency can be earned jute is produced in high amount in asia and uh, if we go for paper paper is used in our everyday life we use copy we use tissue paper box etc which are made of paper okay now uh, i think you are interested to know about how papers are made okay students i think you are interested to know how papers are made from trees yes so i will show you a video how papers are made from trees and you know paper can also be recycled and reused so from the video we will learn those things so now it's time to enjoy the video look at the video students this is only for you paper is made from trees see with large machines trees are cut down oh 
uh, you know, cutting to reduce oxygen. So what we will do? Recycle. Recycling one ton of paper will save 17 trees. The trees are bought to a factory. Then their bark is removed. They are cut to small wood chips. The wood chips are mixed with water and cooked into a paste. The paste is bleached and other chemicals are added to give the finished paper more strength. Now as you can see the paste is flattened and the water is squeezed out. The flattened paste is dried out and becomes paper. The strips of paper are cut into smaller sheets. But wait! Paper can also be recycled to make more papers. Instead of using wood chips, used paper can be recycled into new paper. The paper is mixed with water and put into a paste. You know, recycling paper saves the energy of growing, cutting, and processing trees. Recycling paper also helps reduce carbon dioxide emissions and landfill use. So, other than cutting down trees at random, we will do what? We will do recycling of papers. Thus, we can save trees. Now, students, we are going to learn about the largest joint venture company in Bangladesh, that is CAFCO. CAFCO, the full form is Cornofully Fertilizer Company Limited. As you can see the picture, what is it? Yes, it was established in Bangladesh with the shareholding and support of the governments and private sectors of some Asian countries, that is Bangladesh, Japan, Denmark and the Netherlands. So students, in page number 50, what is there? Yes, here it is written about the resources of Asia. So what resources do Asia have? Do you have any idea? Actually you are right. Asia is having plenty of resources. Okay, so now we will be knowing about all resources of Asia. At first, let us learn about the grain crops. Do you understand which crops are said as grain crops? Yes, the crops like rice, then wheat, corn, coconut, these type of crops are known as grain crops. So, see what is written in your book? The chief crops of Asia are rice, wheat, corn, coconut, spices, etc. Asia is the largest producer of rice and wheat in the world and they grow in most parts of the continent. Okay, so which, uh, con uh, which continent is the largest producer of rice and wheat? Yes, your answer is correct. It will be Asia. Again, now we will be learning about the cash crops. The chief cash crops of Asia are Jude, cotton, rubber, and tea, coffee, sugar cane, silk, these also grow in Asia. Okay, so we know as Asia is producing huge amount of grain crops and crash crops, so after meeting the demand of our own continent, they are also exporting it in other continents to meet their demands, okay? Uh, and other countries, other continents people are buying these things from Asia, Asians, okay? So now we will be learning about the minerals. Asia has enormous reserves of minerals. Can you tell me some names of minerals? Exactly. There are some coals, there are mineral oil, there are natural gas. In addition, there are bronze, gold, silver, then uh, uh, mica, manganese. These are also found plenty in Asia. Iron and steel, cotton, then paper and jute. These are also some major industries of Asia. So we can tell 
that uh, Asia is uh, quite large in industry also yes and also it is one of the what developed continent uh, which is full of industries okay so see here in a speak what it is written discuss with your teacher the resources what formed in Asia so see if I am the student like you how I will write the answer I will write like this Asia is the world's largest continent it covers almost a third of the earth's surface and it is also largest in size of population there are many resources here agricultural resources yes can you name some agricultural resources rice wheat jute cotton rubber etc again can you name some industrial resources excellent iron steel textile silk paper okay can you name some mineral resources yes very good coal then mineral oil uh, natural gas gold silver these are also available in asia so b there is right you have to write the difference between grain crop and the crash crop so the difference between a grain crop and crash crop are given below so if i'm a student like you how will i will be writing the difference obviously i will make a box and then divide it into two parts one side i will write grain crop and other side i will be writing cash crop then i will write the difference so for grain crop what i can write the crops that are used as foods are called grain crops and instead of this difference i can write in cash crop the crops that are grown to earn profit are called cash crops for number two what i can write food uh, then crops are mainly grows to uh, grow to meet the demand of families on the other hand cash crop are cultivated to sell and earn money okay then food crops are what that means grain crops are what what type of crops rice wheat oil seeds potatoes fruits vegetables etc on the other hand what is cash crops yes if this is jute tea sugar cane tobacco rubber cotton etc in c what is their extent again there is a figure in figure what you have to show asia is home to many wild animals such as tiger elephant deer monkey and many more so what we have to do we have to draw the pictures of animals around the edge of uh, your wall map of asia okay so these things again you can do it and submit to your class teacher and your class teacher will be very much happy with you okay and that things obviously they will hang in your classrooms well okay okay then indeed there is what check check means you have to complete the sentence see what is the sentence given over here asia is the largest producer of blank what will be in the blank exactly asia is the largest producer of rice and wheat very good clap 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 for my dear all students now it's time to ask for feedback questions so are you ready for the feedback questions okay let's see so students our very first question is what is grain crops you all can answer very good now i'm telling the answer c the crops that are used as food is known as grain crops for example rice then yes wheat then corn coconut etc the next question is what is cash crops very good you are correct the crops which are going to earn profit is known as cash crops for examples yes jute cotton rubber tea etc okay then the next question is how is the condition of industrial sector of asia 
as we have learned about the different industries we have learned the usefulness of industries so i think you can guess what will be the answer yes okay you can try very good now see i am helping you there are plenty of industries in japan malaysia thailand etc in asia iron and steel cotton silk paper and jute are the major industries of asia asia is quite developed in industry okay so if these questions come then you will answer it in this way and you will get a very good mark then the next question is write two uses of natural gas can you tell yes i have taught you by making chart okay very good two uses of natural gas is given below natural gas is used as a source of heat then many natural gas is burned as a fuel okay then the last review question is write two uses of gold very good you all want to answer that means you have listened to the class properly okay two uses of gold are given below then you will write gold is used to make jewelry it is used in the making of winning medals for popular world games championships and awards you can write some other uses also it's time to take your homework what will be your homework very good as your homework you will learn that means you will do the reading practice of page number 48 and 50 and obviously you will practice the book work of page number 49 and 51 wish you all the best students and for today me malhas also been your bgs teacher is telling you goodbye